Aloha! Uh, thank you for joining me today. Terry Edmonds here and we are doing shoe time with Terry today. Uh, it is a Saturday. I'm in Hawaii, Maui, Hawaii. And um, it's just a lovely day here. I know it's uh, winter on the mainland right now, so I am going to cover some fun winter uh, boots. And also some tips for you guys coming out of winter, you know, uh, some of the good products we're going to want to use on your shoes to get you ready for spring. I'm also going to cover some really fun new arrivals that are coming in for spring. Some options from Keen. Also some really great things from uh, Danner. We're also going to be addressing uh, some of the things that Danner is not going to be offering this year and give you some updates on what's happening in the shoe industry. I also have uh, the latter half of the show, we're going to uh, do some question and answers and maybe even along the way because we're going to cover a couple of topics about um, having hammer toe. I have some clients that have sent in some questions, um, also some questions about Birkenstocks and these are some things that I hear all the time. So I'm sure some of you out there in the internet world are having the same questions in their mind. So let's go ahead and get on with the show. Woohoo! So for those of you that don't know who I am, I am Terry Edmonds. I have a shoe store in Maui, Hawaii called If The Shoe Fits. I am the island's only shoe repairer, but I also do things like sell really great shoes. Um, I do also have a YouTube channel and I have over 250 YouTube videos on how to do things, how to glue your shoes, how to stretch your shoes, etc., etc. So if you want to know more about me, it's terryedmonds.com. But for today, we are on Amazon Live. Love Amazon Live. Um, we get to review some of these products that I use in my store all the time. So let's get going. Um, first, let's go ahead and uh, talk about a, let's go ahead and talk about how to prepare your uh, items coming from winter into the spring now. I was back east, so I, uh, or Midwest, and I did notice you know, so much snow, they're putting ice and or salt on everything, and it just gets all over your shoes. So, um, one of my favorite things that Danner came out with, with this year is the Chelsea Pub. They make this for men and for women. I am currently wearing the women's version. <laughs> I also have the Power Step Orthotic in it. And this, I wore this back um, in Kentucky. It was absolutely fantastic. It has a really sturdy uh, base here. So you just have, and it's oil and slip resistant. So the entire time when we were walking on icy roads or you know those precarious situations, uh, this was a really great boot. I am in need of a little tune-up. I wore this. I wear this boot so much. I wear it here at the office. I stand on concrete all day, and I have never had such a comfortable shoe. So it does not have a safety toe. Neither version does, but they are waterproof. So um, I'm going to treat this boot, and this is what I'm going to recommend for everybody else out there with the same issue. I would first start with my uh, Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. And even though it says uh, suede on it, it is applicable for just about anything. Leather, canvas, um, all kinds of linen, canvas, nylon, satin. It's, it, I've never seen it damage anything and I've cleaned thousands of shoes. So I love this. You do wanna shake it up so that you get these little crystals moving in there. And then you take a little scrub brush. I used a Tupperware dish and you get the suds up and then I would scrub this, get sudsy, and then wipe off the suds and continue the whole shoe until the entire shoe is wet. That's how you avoid water spots. So that's a really great tip. And then after that, I would apply uh, some Cadillac uh, boot and shoe leather lotion. This stuff, I know some of you that follow and thank you for following. Um, I know some of you see this, I talk about this stuff all the time, but it's amazing. Uh, it just, it restores, it does some cleaning, um, but it really nourishes the leather, which is what's key. When you've had salt on your shoes, it really dries out the shoes. Even if you're a construction worker and you're working with drywall, um, cement eats through everything, but this is the same idea. If you've got a really old leather jacket or something you're trying to restore, this stuff is so great. 
it's uh, really easy to uh, deal with. It's just an, I use like an old t-shirt and cut up little squares and then use that so that they're mo more disposable, but this stuff is fantastic. All right, and I put that in your um, <clears throat> description down below. Carol Miller, thank you so much. Nice to see you. <clears throat> Thanks for being with me. Okay, and then I would finish it off the third step. <clears throat> I would do this Cadillac Shield. Uh, it's basically a Scotch Guard for shoes, and it doesn't waterproof. I, I get asked a lot how to waterproof a, a pair of shoes. And unless the shoe's already waterproof, it, it really can't be waterproofed. Um, but you can scotch guard it, you can put some conditioner on it, and then you can treat it with a wax. And that helps uh, keep a porous surface from absorbing more. So that's one of the things. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's very quiet, but we have a halal next door and they are playing the most beautiful hula music this morning and they're practicing dance. Oh, these cute little girls with their little tiny hula skirts and stuff. And it's just so fantastic. You can hear them chanting or it's just been a lovely morning. So if you do hear it, enjoy it. Okay, so there we've kind of talked about treating all your leather goods something a conditioner wouldn't work on something that's a synthetic so uh, no point in doing that but it is wonderful like i said for your work boots um what else would i put it on i would not put it on suede uh, but i would treat another work boot you know something like that it's just really good to have if you love your shoes and you've broken them in especially something like this because this is recraftable meaning they can put a new sole on it and um you know, you've gotten it all nice and soft and formed to your foot. And even if you get it resold, they keep that shape for you. So you want to keep the leather alive. <clears throat> all right. So let's talk about, uh, since we're on this topic, let's talk about what's being discontinued from Danner. So with all of the supply chain issues that we've had, uh, some of my two favorite, favorite items from Danner have been discontinued for this year. I'm hoping next year they'll bring them back. But this is called the Workman. And I'm showing it to you because you might find something on Amazon and if you can find it, grab it. I mean, it runs true to size. It's got a, a slip and oil resistant uh, Vibram sole, really nice sole, stitch down technology so it can be repaired. It has a full grain leather. Uh, it comes with or without a safety toe. And it also comes six inch or it comes in an eight inch. So and it only comes in the brown but it is so yummy. Uh, again, if you can find them, and especially on Amazon, grab a hold of them. So hopefully they'll bring this back next year. I'm pretty sure it's, it's one of their best sellers. The next one is this uh, Bull Crafter Wellington. Hi, Serenji, thank you for following. I really appreciate being here with you. <laughs> All right, so this is called the Bull Run uh, uh, sorry, the Crafter Wellington, and they are making the Crafter with the lace-up version, but for some reason, some of the parts for this can't be gotten this year, so they are not going to do it, but if, again, if you can find it on Amazon, grab it. It is the widest of all of the boots. For those of you that aren't familiar with Danner, they are equivalent to a Red Wing. They have a one-year warranty. They are just such a great company. This is a full-grain leather I've even, for people who can't get into a boot, who have a high instep right here, uh, your local cobbler can actually put a zipper in here for you. That's what I do for a lot of customers who just maybe don't wanna bend down as much. A zipper makes it so much easier for them to get in. So it's wide. It's got a, this is also oil and slip resistant. Um, the kind of customers I don't, I usually sell this to people that are either doing like landscaping or they're not climbing ladders so much, you know, it'll stretch out over time and it does come with or without a safety toe, but more steady on the earth kind of jobs. <laughs> so, uh, but really great, especially you can even do them in the farm. I just had a couple pick one up yesterday. Each, each one of them got a pair. So a really nice boot. And again, it is their number one selling boot. So it, even though we're not going to see it this year, you'll see it in the next year. So I'm looking forward to that. I will pre-book it for sure. I carry everything in Danner in wide sizes. Okay. 
Also with Danner, uh, this is one of their best-selling hunting boots. They used to have the high ground. And someone just called me from uh, the mainland about a high ground. The high ground, they do not have make it anymore. It's what you see me wearing in most of my YouTube videos is the high ground. Well, this is the boot that I got to replace that. Lightweight, it is all synthetic, uh, waterproof. They make them an insulated and non-insulated version. So I carry the non-insulated because I'm in Hawaii. We don't need that here, but really lightweight. And just the customer reviews on it are just amazing. Um, they've got a speed lacing system. All of their hardware is guaranteed for, um, you have a one-year warranty on all. This is uh, Danner, but Danner also owns Lacrosse and Lacrosse does very similar items that you're seeing here. So Lacrosse also has that one year warranty. Um, this, like I said, it, since it, this is the Vital bestseller, I also brought it in in the brown. And this is what's new for 2022. And uh, just, it's just a sleek looking boot. I actually, I'm not sure if I'll sell more of this brown. I This is kind of a hot boot. Uh, but again, it's got all of the really nice hardware, speed lacing system, and uh, it's got a pretty rugged sole. It's not too deep. I have some guys that don't want them too thick of a tread so it doesn't track mud and just bog them down. Um, so uh, it's a very medium weight. That's what I would say, a pretty general hunting boot. And again, it comes insulated. So that's really great for you guys that are buried in snow. <laughs> I had a client just send me a shoe repair from Minnesota, I think. They said it was 10 below. Oh my gosh, it just was crazy. They sent me pictures and they sent me their boot to be repaired, but it was kind of funny. So you guys hang in there, spring's on the way. <laughs> okay, so speaking of that, let's move into what Keen is offering. And right now, you know, during this time of the year between Christmas and February, March, most of your big manufacturers aren't sending out product yet. They're, they're just preparing for their spring order. So if you're having trouble finding sizes, just hold on a couple of weeks. They're, they're all kind of moving along. Some of the items that you can get right now though are offered, uh, Keen has got this cute little Terradora and it's called the Mid. So it's about a four and a half inch they also make a Terradora Low, like a sneaker. It's the one that I wear when I go running um, or just my general light hiking or hi uh, small walks, like in the backyard, going up the hills and stuff. If I'm gonna really hike, I would do this one. This is a great hiking shoe. I also think this is really great for people that travel a lot. I get some couples that are you know, taking a cruise over to Greece or something and they know they're gonna be walking around. I think this would be a, a good boot for them, even the low rise, but I put this one, I believe, in the uh, shopping carousel. So again, all synthetic. Keen does a six month warranty on their items. Um, this has got their auto flex. It's supposed to be really flexible and it, it is nice and super durable. It's more durable than a sneaker and it is waterproof. So I offer them here at the store for 175. They do come in half sizes and I, they're, they're in stock right now. So if you kind of want to get your gear and start wearing it ahead of time and breaking it in uh, for your big trip, awesome boot, shoe. Okay, then uh, the other one that's still, that's available. Well, this one's, uh, isn't this fun? I put this in the uh, shopping carousel. I actually brought it in per request. And uh, some people just love these colors. And uh, and anyway, great little uh, river combing shoe, beach combing shoe, um, just all around. It's got good toe protection. They stay glued so long. I mean, it, it's, I because of my repair shop, I get these in for repair, but it's not until they're like the glue's totally dried out. Maybe in the men's, for some reason, men seem to wear out the threads on these little straps. And I, and so, but everything else stays uh, together very, very well. It is waterproof, which I think is really funny because it's got slots all over it, but it is a waterproof shoe. So they encourage you to make this your water, water uh, hiker. 
Um, they are fully, they don't, these don't have like a, an enclosure that you can open up. I get asked about that. Some people, this is a little tight fit here for them, but you can loosen up these with these little straps here and get a little bit more room. See those open, but you still have this neoprene in there. So I'd recommend making this something that you either try on in the store, or if you order from Amazon, order you know a couple of sizes, you can always return whatever you don't need. And Amazon makes it so easy to return now. I mean, you can just go straight to the UPS store and so easy. They're professional and fast and I love it. So kind of takes the risk out, you know, all right, then another one that is in stock because most of their keen colors are out of stock right now, but this is one that they do have in stock. It's a really nice neutral color. You know, I know um, some friends were in Japan and they were saying like very monochrome, very sleek and contemporary are the grays and the beiges. And you know, this is nice. It kind of disappears on the foot if that's what you're going for. Maybe you don't want it to disappear, <laughs> but this one disappears. And it's got a little bit more streamlined look here. It's not quite as wide on the bottom, but again, this offers you this really great tread. And for those people who have maybe a leg discrepancy, your local cobbler can always put on a lift, which kind of it lifts one side for you to align your back. And it just really overall improves your, the integrity of your body. So um, a lot of options and very, um, workable if you need to have some some work done to them so that takes me to our question and answer because in my business i get a lot of people that have foot problems and um you know one of them happens to be hammer toe and i have a client here um when you get to a situation where you've hammer toe is a very tricky thing um if you're wearing a covered shoe depending on how bad your feet are okay I have put this in the shopping carousel. It's right there, it's number one. It's been rated five stars. And it's such a simple device. I know my mom got one of these for her little stretchy spots and uh, I saw it in a closet. I was very proud of her for buying the stuff that she needs to make her shoes feel better. So really easy to, to do. And this can be for anywhere, you know, let's just, for example. So let's say I've got a bunion and you can actually slide this device in and it goes to right where the tricky spot is and then you squeeze this together and you put a little you put this little doohickey goes up here and it holds it into place okay um, on a synthetic shoe you would then want to apply like a blow dryer and just uh, very carefully lightly heat up this material and then it becomes more stretchy if you aren't paying attention and you overheat it, you can burn the thread. So consider yourself warned. All right, um, so this is a great device. It is so affordable. I mean, it's really a worthwhile thing. I just put a screw in my little stretcher stand and it just sits right there. So it's out of the way. All right, so the other thing, I just, for those of you that are hopeful <laughs> to finding some relief, this gal is a client of mine and she has, let's say these are her toes. Her toes literally go like that. That's how her feet look, just like that. So her bunions here, her big toe goes this way and then her other toes stick out here. And she's an attorney and needs to have professional footwear. So for many years, we've been trying to help her with this. And it's tricky. I mean, <clears throat> look at how they make shoes. They're not made wide in the front. They're made skinny and narrow, but if <clears throat> this is what you're gonna do, then this is my advice. I actually cut this open for her. It's kind of hard because it's black. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. So see that right there? And I'm actually gonna put a piece of material right here. And can you hear the hello? Woohoo! <laughs> awesome, okay. So anyway, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna open this up for her. She's already tried it on and it's gonna be, I'm gonna do a nice uh, black suede to make it blend in. I'm gonna be very careful so that the threads don't rub on her bunion or her little toes. So this is the extreme and a cobbler can help you. I, you need a cobbler because you need this special sewing machine that can get in this area right here to stitch it together. 
And you could probably do it with glue. And it probably would last for a while, but have a professional do it for you. Okay, so then the other way you can do if you're having hammer toe, this is hammer toe day. <laughs> um, you can also have either, you can take a razor knife and you can cut a hole um, so that that area has room to move, which is what I'm doing in here. I cut a hole and then um, you can put a patch of leather and it looks like a patch of leather on a hole, okay? So if you're really vain and you have a hard time with that, go to a cobbler, maybe they can make it blend in a little bit more. Sometimes I try to make both shoes match so that it looks like it's part of it. I try to use leathers that match in color, but there is a way to get relief, I think. So uh, let's see, let's see if I have, I wanna get to this. All right, here's a good hammer toe question. Hi, I have watched many videos and I felt the most connected to yours. I don't know if you have any offers to help me. I wear a size 10 to 11, but I have hammer toes. I have never had a sandal type shoe, so I don't travel to sunny places, so I won't stick out like a sore thumb in tennis shoes. Do you have any options for me? I would love strapping sandal with properly placed straps to hide my woes. Thanks for listening. And you know, if you, have an open toe sandal well, here's an idea you can go with something that's maybe in your color selection right this has definitely got some room uh, i had a customer who had a broken foot and he had to, it was broken right here and he had to have it opened up so your cobbler can come in here and just open up the shoe a little bit for you. It has all of this stuff going on on the shoe, so nobody's gonna see your foot in there. And if they're that close, then there's some conversations to be had. But this is an example of a sporty shoe that I think you could totally get away with, okay? It's soft on the inside, so that's one idea. And if you want something a little more dressy, then I would suggest, I, I, a design that I see that works on women is when it's got a big strap here and then an ankle strap up here. And on this, this big strap here, you can actually have someone put Velcro so it's adjustable. The straps can move at an angle. I don't have one exactly here in the store right now for you to see, but um, there is a way to do that. The only trick is if you open, if you leave your toes exposed, people are gonna see your toes. Um, but I did just have a really cute little, uh, let me see if it's still here. I'm gonna grab it, hold on. So this was in for a shoe repair and um, I just cleaned it and glued it all back together. We've put a new sole on it for her. I mean, this has been in here so many times, she loves it. So it's kind of dirty. I mean, I've cleaned it, but it's stained. But this would be a really great idea. You know, you can easily have, if you've got, you know, if your toes are pressing up here, it's easy enough to put a little dart and put some elastic there. Maybe have the, you can get elastics that match the color of the fabrics yet you're not gonna see your toes. It doesn't have to be this high. You could do a lower espadrille. So anyway, really great. And let me see, I've got somebody writing in. Let's see. Oh, so I have a pair of heels that fit perfect, which is almost impossible for me to find, but the fake leather stuff started chipping off, so I removed it. Yes, I really wanna salvage them without spending more than they cost by taking them to a cobbler. Very crafty person. I just need to figure out the product. Oh man, I'm so glad you brought that up. Thank you for uh, mentioning that. We'll touch base right now. So the fake leather that's on the inside, it is paint on fabric. So as you know, you scraped off that uh, paint. Awesome. Then you want to, once you're done with that, and I use a semi dull tool, like a screwdriver, so it doesn't rip the material. Then you take a little um, emery board, something really fine, and you just lightly go over that material because it gets off of the dust. There is like a, the fabric, and when the paint goes on, in between those two, as it dries, becomes like a fine, fine dust. So you wanna uh, just emery board, sand that off, 
and it's you're right back down to the fabric and the fabric is what is the integrity of the shoe so you cannot hurt the shoe by doing that awesome question thank you you're awesome this was on the outside so same thing happens if it's on the outside of the shoe you're going to want to repaint that very likely unless you like the fabric look um i'm hoping this is answering your question but they make the angelus leather paint it's an acrylic leather paint and it comes in a one ounce or an eight ounce one ounce is really plenty to do a shoe um, you'll still see the grain of the fabric though so it'll change it to look more like a canvasy shoe i hope that helps you this was on the outside yes did that is there a link yes if you go to my amazon shopping cart there it's under the painting it's leather painting and you'll see the links to the paints and i also have really great paint brushes there they're super affordable yay thanks for writing really feels good okay so for this gal with the size 10 to 11 i want to touch base on that usually you can't find the 10 half um, they're a little bit harder to find so um i would probably go well actually um Again, I think if you're like in that in-between range, like between 11 and a 12 even in a ladies, order a couple of items from Amazon and try them on. When you have hammer toes, really bad hammer toes, you want a little bit of extra room, so I take it up the extra half a size. So that's what I suggest. And if you guys aren't already aware of Prime Wardrobe, you can order items from Amazon if you are a Prime Wardrobe member and you don't have to pay for them until you decide to keep them and you get like a seven days to review. So that's a great suggestion. I'm gonna get to the next one. Okay, uh, Terry, I'm so glad I found your site on YouTube. Question for you on a pair of Louis Vuitton mules. The inner upper leather is peeling off. I'm curious how to fix it. I guess I would need to peel it off as every time they are worn, little pieces of leather fall off and get all over the place. And then it says, is there a product I could somehow put on the inside of the shoe? So again, you'd wanna scrape all that out. Don't be afraid. And if under the foot is also deteriorated, I do things like a new insole. You can make a pattern. You can pull out the old pattern, trace it on a piece of leather or fabric. I like suede, a real thin suede. And then you just slide it in with some wet glue and you've got a new insole. I actually just did that for a gal and it's sitting on my shelf over there, but well, I'm sure you can visualize it. Um, this would be, well, anyway, let's see. I think, do, do, do. well, I'm not gonna get up and get it. Uh, you guys can get the idea. All right, so here's another one. Hi, I'm in Australia and have your YouTube have seen your YouTube bits on repairing Berkeys. I'm keen to do it myself, but struggling to find where to purchase the sole. Thicker if possible. Footbed and glue. Can you help? Desperate. All right, desperate. I've got your answers for you. So I get this question all the time. This is what the original Birkenstock soles look like. I don't believe that these are available to the public. I am a cobbler, I can get them, okay? But they're very picky about who gets their, their Birkenstock material. Some of the footbeds you can, but you wanna really make sure when, you're, when you've selected it that you find the right uh, foot size. Some, they're not all, you know, you really need to be specific. All right, soling material. I have a link in the soling material and this is what I use on all kinds of stuff. This is called soling crepe. I like the Vibram, but it's offered. And I think what I have on there is Vibram, but all orthopedic crepe, which is what they're called, um, is, is the products are great out there. They come in a soling crepe, which is this. It's got the rough on it and it's a non-slip. It is what I put on this gal's shoe on the bottom, okay? It's super lightweight. And this is what, this comes in quarter inch, which is what we're looking at here. It's a quarter inch, but it also comes in half inch. So she wanted a bit thicker. So I would do the orthopedic crepe soling material. And depending on what color, they come in black, beige, gray, red, and white. I use all of the colors except for the red primarily. And um, 
anyway, this is what I would use. It's so fantastic. No sense in using the Birkenstock material. Actually, this is even easier to cut. The glue is also on my Amazon shopping cart and it is called the Master's Cement. And just using the small can would be enough for one pair. Okay, I have both sizes listed there. Okay, so then I think we have one more. Um, okay, so this one is from Lucila Ramirez Cruz. Great video. I wanna echo what so many have said. I missed the shoe repair shop in my neighborhood. I wanted to know if alcohol and water would lighten black leather. Well, on the uh, missing your cobbler, it is really nice to be appreciated. I think we are a dying breed. So if you have a local cobbler um, and you really, they're quite talented people. They can do a lot of things. They can repair bags, leather goods. Most of them can do all of these things. And if you do go visit them, be extra nice. It's a tough job and kindness gets you so far. So um, I love it when people butter me up with a bunch of compliments before they ask me for a special thing. So I really love that. As far as lighting, uh, lightening up the leather, no shoe stretch and alcohol does not lighten leather. Um, however, I like to apply it in, with a spray bottle and I use one part alcohol and nine parts water. And then you would just spritz the shoe like that and let it, this is for a very light soaking, okay? She needs her stretch anyway, so that's fine. But if I were going to stretch a, a, a something else and it really needed a good stretch, I would take a washcloth and I would soak it in water and then I would lay it over the space that I'm gonna stretch, okay? and I would get it really, really wet. This boot is waterproof. Getting it wet's not gonna hurt it at all. So then it's really pliable. Then you can take your shoe stretcher in there and really give it a good stretch. So, um, and that works, you know, length or width. It works if you've got hammer toe. If you've got a leather shoe, you, you really can wet it. If you happen to get a watermark because you've used these rags on here, then I just say, get the whole thing wet. The watermark will blend in with the rest of the shoe. So that's an easy solution. Um, I don't use alcohol when I'm doing that. I actually, um, I don't know. I, sometimes I do this, but typically either the shoe's gonna stretch without it or it has to be really wet. So, but it won't stain the shoe. It will not discolor the shoe. If you have any questions and you wonder, do a little test, you know, take a Q-tip, wet it, and then find a discrete spot somewhere like maybe the very back of the heel or somewhere right here and just do a little test. Let it sit and let it dry, okay? If you do get your shoes wet during one of these processes, um, don't set them in the sun to dry. It will shrink them and do crazy things to them. So <laughs> don't ruin your shoes. A, a nice cool breeze in an open breezy way is a great way to let your shoes dry and let them do it with the shoe stretchers in them. Okay, we are just about done. And I'm just gonna show uh, some of these really fun colors from UFOs. Oh my gosh, a ton of really cute stuff. And this, they are fully in stock right now. So you can get all kinds. This one happens to be the, um, oh, and I meant, I brought this in today's show because they're great indoor shoes. I get a lot of referrals from uh, doctors that like their clients to buy these. And they provide arch support plus cushion. If you've got, if you're indoors and you're on hard floors, these are great to wear around the house. Um, along wearing your Power Step orthotics in your shoes, you should have, see lots of improvements. So this one's called the uh, Atlantis. Isn't that a fun color? Then we also have the um, Calypso. It's purples, some rose, those are fun colors. And then this one looks like Sherbet, but it's Horizon. That's a real fun one. All of these are in the $70 price range. Um, UFOs just rate their prices, their prices this last year. So they're all up by $5, but Amazon, you just always have to check because prices change. Here is their new camouflage for the ladies. It's pretty cute. It's like a patent finish on it. And then we also have the camouflage for the guys. 
These go up to size 14, um, fun print on them. I sell hunting boots, so I thought they'd make a cute combination. Again, arch support, it's got the low drop heel, which, which allows the back of the leg to stretch out and it helps relieve things like um, lots of different, um, what do they call that? Heel spurs. Um, with the arch support, it just, it's a recovery shoe. They, it was made for recovery, it's who designed it. So then we also have some fun prints. We've got the snake. We've got the leopard, if you're feeling your leopard. And then we also have a leopard with some cute orange flowers on it. This would be kind of fun coming into spring with your lighter colors. And then in the men's they do, I have all the colors. They've got brown, they've got the uh, pewter, they have a navy blue, um, and then they're coming out with some cool colors for next year that'll be slates and stuff. So anyway, this is what you're looking at for this year. And I think that's all you're gonna see of me today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your questions. Thanks for watching, Mom, I love you. Here's a big heart for you. And for those of you in the cold, I'm thinking of you from Maui and sending you a big warm hug. Okay, from Maui, aloha.